So the first thing you want to do is grab yourself up, oh, I'd say about a pound of ground pork, and I've got this a little on the lean side, but you know, it's entirely up to you. Then two stalks of chopped green onions into the bowl with the ground pork. Followed by a tablespoon of minced garlic and ginger, and you can use the powdered if you want, or even fresh for that matter. A tablespoon of soy sauce, I use a low sodium, but again, your call. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce, you can cut this back or add a little bit more, you know, depending on your taste. Or you can even leave it out and add some hoisin sauce or something like that. And last but not least, my all-time favorite, a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Grab up my handy dandy device and give this a mix until everything is well combined. And my oh my guys, this smells so good already. Now of course you can always replace the pork with beef and in a little bit of extra seasoning, omit seasoning, whatever your little heart desires. Okay, let's set our mixture aside for a few minutes. Now it is time to begin peeling up our eggplant. To do this, I'm going to start with one end of the eggplant and of course just move down it. Now what you want is a fairly good peeler. Um, if you get a cheap one, it doesn't work very well. And you also have to press fairly firm on that peeler because if you don't, you just skim the surface. And you want relatively long thin strips, something like this. Doesn't that look great? Okay, I'm going to grab a spoon here and scoop up, oh, I'd say about a tablespoon of the mixture. Place it on one end of the eggplant and just spread it towards the other. And you don't want it too thick, fairly thin. Now simply grab from one end and begin to roll right towards the other end. I love me rolled eggplant. And just kind of tuck in those those bits hanging out there make it look nice and pretty. Doesn't that look cute guys? Just like a pig in an eggplant. Now after they're all rolled up here, I'm just gonna grab one up and roll it into some cornstarch. Now you can use flour too if you don't have cornstarch on hand. Give it a little shake off. And we'll just set this aside on a plate and continue this for the rest of the rolls. Okay, I've got my oil heated up to about 350 degrees, and the way you can tell is just drop a bit of cornstarch or flour in, and if it sizzles, you're good to go. Place the rolls in, and we're gonna fry these up in batches until they're a beautiful golden brown. And this should only take, oh, I'd say two or three minutes on each side. Okay, now they are nicely fried up, I'm just gonna take them out and set them aside on a wire rack. And there you have it, my friends, our crispy, crunchy eggplant rolls. So delicious, so yummy, you're going to love them, and so are your party animals. As always, my fine, friendly cooks, a crispy eggplant roll cheers. Oh, and wowzers, just look at these guys, absolutely, stunningly incredible. This is so good, so tasty, absolutely, absolutely delightful. More dipping and more eating. Mm -hmm.